After years of rumors and speculation and leakers and everything, we finally got the Switch Pro! No. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Game Skates today and only today. We are here to discuss the Switch OLED edition. That's right, not a Switch Pro, not what anyone expected. As always with Nintendo, uh, I wake up randomly, I get a million notifications, like, wake up, wake up, wake up. I look at this and I see a whole lot of what? So yeah, Nintendo has announced the Nintendo Switch OLED uh, model. As you can see, it's a white model. It's got, you know, like the kind of white black aesthetic that the PS5 is going on. It's a seven inch screen. So it's about 0 0.8 inches uh, taller than the regular Switch. And now it is the exact size of my dick. But yeah, honestly with this thing, there's really not that much to talk about. They got a LAN cable in the back, so now you don't have to buy that, like, adapter thingy. I believe there's an extra USB cord, and that's about it. Aside from the, they fixed the, what's it called? They fixed the stand. The stand's a little better, so now you don't have that little shitty stick, which is kind of cool. And that's really it. There's not a single graphical upgrade. There's no better RAM, no better GPU, no nothing. It is purely enhanced audio and handheld with the OLED and uh, the better stand. And that's kind of it with the LAN adapter thing not needed anymore you just connect the line so yeah that's kind of it and a lot of people got mixed feelings you know even i got mixed feelings i'm not gonna lie you know i'm someone who i've i've you know i've, I've talked about the switch pro thing a lot a lot of it you know i've been excited for a lot of it i've been like okay i'm tired of this and i'm kind of glad we have it so we can finally shut up about it and i really just now i don't think now i'm not saying like a big switch upgrade is not possible but I don't think we're gonna see one for like another two years. I genuinely think now because they're they're including this in the family, you know. They're not saying like they are not removing the regular switch. And when they showed the end of the video, it shows you got a regular switch, you got the switch OLED edition, and you got the uh, switch light. And that's kind of how they're gonna live with the three families. I believe it is fifty dollars more expensive than the regular switch, so it's three hundred fifty dollars. Which you know, I don't know if it's like. I don't know if, the, I mean, there's no other way you do it, because what are they going to do? They're not going to increase the price by $25. 50 is usually the standard with, like, upgrades like that. And again, while it's not the craziest upgrade, I still think it's solid. I should say solid for what it is, not like I would have loved way more. I would have loved at least upscale 4K and all that stuff. And, you know, when it comes to my personal stance on what I'm going to be doing with this thing, I, I have the base day one Switch, right, and a Switch Lite. So I think what I'm personally going to be doing is either selling off my... My base switch you know or, or like on launch day yeah trading in the store just to get it a bit cheaper because i don't even have the switch edition you know like you know when they did a revision of the regular switch where like it lasts four and a half to nine hours instead of like three to seven or whatever it was i never got that so to me i'm just like you know what it's an excuse to have the oled and handheld because i actually play a lot of switch and handheld like mostly when i'm not streaming i'm playing my switch and handheld because i just prefer that i prefer like right after my stream chilling on this couch in my handheld going to bed at night playing a handheld and all that stuff so for me i think it's cool and i'm happy because oled is just gonna make the handheld games pop a little more you know it's gonna get that better lighting you're gonna get i think it just makes things look a little sharper and stuff so that's the stuff i'm happy about that's stuff i'm excited about about with that prospect and the in inherent land adapter thing is actually really cool because again it's another step of nintendo saying all right we we understand obviously the online is the best right but we're making it easier now for people to just connect to land adapters so that, you know they can connect it with smash or mario party or whatever else games they got going on and again i do have to admit that like it feels like nintendo's server stuff is getting a bit better right they introduced their new servers that they started with monster hunter and that game runs super well uh super mario party online i don't know if they changed the servers on it i doubt it they added online and that works really well they have it with mario golf mario golf has not has, has been pretty smooth and they're actually actually using the invite feature so again i'm not saying obviously there's a million problems with nintendo online and we could pick that apart all day but that would be boring and all that stuff but i do think this land adapter thing is them taking another step beyond all right we want to make sure people can easily optimize their way to play online you know by just connecting this not needing the extra dongle and all that stuff so cool on them for that you know i'm seeing a lot of conversation already of just about like vote with your wall you know don't buy this you know I, i've seen people tell me like hey don't buy this you know you're, you're supporting the problem and all that stuff and it's like yeah it's it's hard man it's like again like i if i did like here's the thing i don't think i want to buy this thing 
at full price. I'd rather trade something in or trade stuff in, you know? Like, I don't want to pay, because I think in Canada, by the way, that's like $400. I'm not dropping $400 for handheld OLED, you know what I mean? And, but it's like, I, I think just... There's, I, I think obviously like the leaks didn't help, right? Obviously all these people and you know, I feel like there's gotta be, obviously I'm not saying like no one needs to be punished for putting a fake leak, but like a lot of prominent people, you know, you, you got your Jeff Grubbs, your Jason Schreier and stuff. It's like, I wish they would do like follow up reports be like, hey, like apologies on this. Like our sources uh, said this, we were wrong about that because it's like now I I've, I just like the way I see it with those people is like now I just trust them with us. You know, I never fully trust them, but it's like a, a lot of like notable people, you know, were saying we were we're getting a switch like all this stuff like 4k like enhance all this stuff it's like now i'm just gonna trust you less again obviously you should always take rumors and stuff with a grain of salt it's not always true but it did seem a little more prominent when it's from the the bigger gurus of the leak culture that often gets them i'm not talking about mr 4chan that tells you oh the switch is gonna be 10k 9000p or whatever uh, another nice little thing that I really appreciate is it comes out October 8th, uh, launching the same, October 8th or 4th, one of those two dates, launching the same day as Metroid Dread. I find that's, again, another boost for Metroid Dread. I think it's really cool that Nintendo is going all out with this game. It feels like with the little video vlogs, they're not vlogs, the fuck, the video logs they're doing about the game and, like, launching a Switch with this instead of, they could have launched it with Diamond and Pearl. They could have launched it with Mario Party Superstars. It would have been way bigger, but they're like, no, we really want this Metroid game to hit. We want the fans of it to love it. We want, like, it looks like it's going to be awesome. They want it to sell Super Bowl for the holiday and stuff. So I'm really happy with what they're doing with Metroid. And that's it. That's all. No upgrades. I believe also you can use the dock on your older Switch. So I guess, like, if someone has, like, you know, I guess if you have, like, someone else who has a Switch and you get this one, you can put your old one in there and still use the land adapter. So, whatever. I guess that's really cool. Again, I would have liked a bit more, right? I feel like it's not a big deal, right? This thing isn't gonna... It, it's like the Switch Lite, you know, where it's like, okay... This is an extra thing. This is really cool. And I think, I don't see why you would ever now, I guess if you want to save 50 bucks, right? Like, I feel like when it comes to buying a console, right? Obviously, I'm not saying 50 bucks is nothing, but I feel like when you're investing in a console, $50, it's like, you might as well always go for the bigger upgrade. Yeah, and that's kind of what a lot of companies want. They want you to do the thing where you're like, okay, well, it's $50. I might as well get that upgrade. I don't see many people now going back to the regular Switch once we're going to have access to the Switch uh, OLED. I feel it's going to be that and the Switch Lite that end up super well, and then you're slowly and slowly going to see the regular Switch kind of phase out and stuff like that. So we'll see what happens with that. But either way, I think this is cool. I wish it was more. I'm going to be honest with you like i do wish it was a bigger upgrade after so long not even like ignore the rumors right just like just upgrades in general like for you know we're, we're used to an era now where we get phone upgrades every few years we got the switch pro you know uh, sorry not switch pro. we got the ps4 pro mid-generation you know we got the xbox either what was it was it was it the siri xbox one x was that an upgrade or was that the man i fucking hate cons i hate microsoft's naming shit so yeah because we're kind of we've gotten used to mid-generational upgrades uh we thought we would see that for nintendo but again like as long as this thing is selling nintendo is just gonna keep like the here's the thing about companies right they do these upgrades and stuff to boost sales right and i think with nintendo switch they're not seeing any slowdown. This thing just keeps on selling and selling. We're, we're, especially with this and what they've got launching this holiday, the Switch is easily hitting 100 million by end of December or early next year, which is insane. You know, it's like, it's like if things don't slow down, they don't feel the need to do these bigger upgrades and bigger changes. And I don't condone that. I don't think, I, I think like, I'm not a fan of when companies do the thing where, all right, we're winning. So let's do the minimum on shit, you know, and, and not to say that Nintendo's doing the minimum. A lot of the games are fantastic. We're getting, we're getting like probably by the end of this generation, we are going to have the best, if not one of the top three Nintendo libraries ever. If you include all the indies, all the third parties, all the first parties, you know, the new ones, even if you count all the remasters, if you count all like the, the revitalizations of things like GameCube style era games being back on such so like by the end of it. Switch is easily going to be one of the best Nintendo consoles of all time. It's already my favorite from what we have. We still have years to go with shit in there. But it's like, yeah, I do feel like, it. like I said, with certain business decisions, you know, like you have like the Skyward Sword, full price stuff. You know, you have the Switch that isn't a crazy upgrade. You have the Nintendo Switch on. It's like, there's just a lot of things that they do that they fuck up. And I, I feel like a lot of it sometimes is just funny to me. 
And, it, and the weird way, it's like, I just find it genuinely comedic sometimes how Nintendo does things. It's 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 funny. It's like just funny to me. Like they, it's all. It's I'm not even joking. I genuinely feel like Nintendo. Where let's not forget, Nintendo apparently canceled that Zelda show because people kept leaking it so much. I would not like. I am not even joking. I genuinely would not be shocked if there were so many Constant Switch Pro rumors that Nintendo was like, "No, we're gonna do this instead," and they will wait a while to do this a regular uh, upgrade. I'm not even joking. I genuinely think that's possible with them. Uh, also, two things that people pointed out is that uh, Diamond and Pearl got a bit of a graphical upgrade in the trailer. It's pretty it's a pretty nice little upgrade. It's not crazy. It's not like they switch the entire thing, but like it looks a little nicer. I just want us to get I get actual footage of it. And uh, we got about five seconds of Splatoon footage now. And really not much. I mean, we got the girl using the new bow splat gun, but really other than that, you're just seeing a regular splat. We get one look at like that ball mini game from Mario Party, which I really love the classic one. This so they remastered that. That's gonna look really cool in the game. I'm excited to play that. And hey, 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 we got some Zero Blade representation because when they're playing Smash throws they're playing on the gram stage you know so zero blade canon and nintendo commercials <laughs> but honestly i'm looking even on youtube here like it's honestly 105 th 105 000 likes only 5k dislikes and it's got almost a million views it's like people aren't that mad about it aside from obviously twitter and shit because i think for what it is it's just a nice little upgrade it's just another model like i said i would have liked more people would have liked more uh but i'd say you know it is what it is in nintendo you kind of got to take it they're also you got to think about it this way right like we're we're, we're talking about a nintendo that is few their handheld and console line right remember how many revisions of the ds we got of the of the 3ds we got of the game boy you know it's like this is natural course for the handhelds you know so i think because we're in this weird place where they've merged the handout style and console style we expect more from the console end but they're also like you know what i mean like they're also like targeting it the way they did with their handheld upgrade so it's kind of like that so again i'm not mad i'm just kind of i said this on twitter this morning i'm like i i said kind of but not exactly and that's kind of what nintendo does a lot of times with this shit so anyways let me know what you guys think of this i just wanted to make this quick ready to talk about it uh, let me know what you think about you know with, with the few games you saw in there what upgrades you would have liked to see from it if you're buying it if you're not if you don't care if you're mad at it let me know i don't care uh however you feel let me know be honest be all that stuff and let me know uh subscribe all that just i don't know why you're talking but whatever bye i love you